I, Thomas de Beecham, 11th Earl of Warwick, welcome you. In this year of 1356, I had returned victorious from the war in France, where I served as a loyal commander to His Majesty King Edward. I could tell you of my adventures there, but today I wish to tell you of someone else's adventure, or rather a quest, that helped me rebuild Warwick Castle. I will tell you now of the Falconer's Quest. On my return from France, I saw a great need to replenish my collection of falcons, for I had taken many birds to war, and alas, few had returned. My falconers were tasked with rearing and raising as many hawks as possible to make the birds of Warwick the envy of a king. One day, a young lad arrived at the castle. He was called Hobby, and he was the son of a local fisherman. Hobby was presented to me, and he told me that since he was a child, he had watched in awe as my falconers reared and trained my birds. How he loved to see the birds of Warwick fly majestically over the castle, and how heartbroken he was when so many did not return from war. I will go on a quest to bring to Warwick a collection of birds that will be the envy of a king. I laughed that our wishes were the same. Although he had no training with birds, I was charmed by his passion and asked him out of pity what reward he would want for this. Gold? Silver? I wish to stand as your master falconer and see the skies above the castle full of birds of prey. I told him, the skills and knowledge of a falconer are great and are passed down through the generations. Too much for the son of a fisherman. I wished him luck, but doubted I would see him again. Hobby thanked me and set forth on his quest. and can hear the slightest movement of their prey as they fly silently.
those small creatures that hide in the long grass should take heed and beware the silence. Beware the long legs. Beware the talons.
designed for ripping through frozen flesh. Hobby found this bird to be very formidable. Seeing this bird in flight and on the hunt takes Hobby's breath away. 
He longed to learn more, to be tested. And now in this land, that test would come. From a master falcon and the most royal of falcons, the peregrine.
For many days he searched, until one day he saw an unbelievable sight. It was an Andean condor. Legend said this was the largest bird of prey in the world. On seeing this magnificent bird, Hobby knew this to be true. Carry 
rule the skies of Warwick. Having found the majestic old king, Hobby returned to Warwick and stood before me. He told me of his adventures, of the birds he had found. He reminded me of the reward he had wished for, to be my master falconer and care for the birds of Warwick. I reminded him that he also wished to see the skies above the castle fall once more with birds of prey. Both Hobby and I were rewarded. Until then, farewell.